We're back with this week's inspirational moments with Makia. Today, Makia Turner spotlights a local single mother of three who is both a survivor and fighter of multiple myeloma cancer, an incurable disease that starts within the, within the bone marrow and then attacks other parts of the body. And CTV's Makia Turner has that story. Makia? Thanks, Rochelle. Well, if I had to describe this one local mother that I will soon introduce today, I would say intrepid. That's the word to describe her. Kim Wilson's journey to recovery has been nothing short of remarkable, and her bravery coupled with a high spirit can be infectious to anyone going through similar life-threatening cha life challenges. And this is why I share her story with you today. It's been three years since Kim Wilson became a warrior in the battle against multiple myeloma cancer. Sometimes I have good days and sometimes I have, I don't want to say bad days, but I have challenging days. The longtime Prince George's resident says she knew something just wasn't right when she experienced frequent bone pain, um, spasms, um, severe uh, intensive spasms in the spine and it got to the point where it was unbearable to where I was depending upon crutches to walk. Wilson says she found clarity to these mysterious, irrepressible pains in April of 2010 when her oncologist told her that she had an incurable disease that attacks plasma cells within the bone marrow. I looked at her and I asked her to repeat it again. Um, and she says, you, you know, we have gotten your re test results back and you have um, multiple myeloma. So I said to her, I says, well, um, that's what the paper says. I said, but my God, you know, is an awesome God. And I know that he's going to heal me and fix this. No more than 24 hours after diagnosis, the single mother of three started chemotherapy, the first of 52 weekly treatments that took some getting used to. Right after, once I got my very first uh, chemo treatment, chemotherapy treatment. The following day, um, I was getting severe spasms and my lungs had collapsed and um, I had double pneumonia and I was on a ventilator. Wilson spent three weeks in a rehabilitation center before she returned home and it wasn't until then that she noticed a big shift in her lifestyle. Uh, it was a, dr a dramatic change for me. Um, I'm a very independent person. Anyone who's known me, I'm an upbeat, ready to go, heels, spike heel, pump lady, four inch, six heels, ready to go. Um, and it really made me, it gave me a reality check. The vivacious Greenbelt resident credits her children for stepping up to the plate to help her at a time when she felt helpless. It kind of, it really kind of hit me, you know. It, it that told me, like, you know, like since she's my mother and all, I, I got to start caring for her and step up my game. Sometimes I hold her, and then when she sleeps, I give her a good night kiss and have a great rest. As the special education school teacher continues to fight her battle, she says she hopes to inspire others to defeat any life-threatening situation at hand. This journey to recovery is not, you know, just only supportive of me, but this is to support just not breast cancer and this is just a multiple of all different, different forms of cancer. And this Saturday, April 20th, Wilson will host a Journey to Recovery Cancer Awareness event in Greenbelt to celebrate her three years of survival and to spread awareness about her condition. Anyone with information or anyone who's seeking information or who would like to make a donation can contact Wilson at Kim I. Shaw at AOL.com. And if you or someone else you know would like to share your inspirational story, you can send your testimonies to me at mturner at pgctv.org.